And now, for your viewing pleasure, I'm going to demonstrate real quick what happens when you grab one of these shiny Gravitino balls on a super sentinel home planet pain in your ass. <laughs> All right. So this has been brought to you by your daily dose of Bruce's. I'm about to do something dumb. Yep. It's alright, made it. That deserves a thumbs up, thank you very much. The serious stuff starts now. What is up everybody, it is Wolf Bruce, back in No Man's Sky. And what we're going to do today is another quick video, some helpful tips and stuff. Uh, today it's going to be on how to find crash ships. Crash ships are good things, like you, you want a lot of them. Because, uh, basically what it does is like, see I have this, you know, my old little 31 slot here. And this was a crash ship, that's why that is broken. But uh, instead of paying the multi-millions to get a um, 32 slot ship, brand new, I can find a crash shot, and all I have to do is repair the modules that are on it. So, way cheaper. Basically free. Anyway, I'm on a seriously hostile planet. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Super important, super important. Interrupt everything. Where did that go? Where'd your body get? There it is. Aha! Sorry. I've been looking for one of those for, you know, a while now. Anyway. Alright, so, basically, to get this whole thing started here, you find one of these things. Big laser to the sky. Go into your inventory. I've already got one made, but to make a bypass trip, you press E, and you craft it there. It's just some plutonium and iron. Go ahead. Uh, hold on. Hold on. As like I said, hostile planet. They just attack me on sight. It's rude. Alright. So, gonna go ahead and let it do its thing. We're gonna scan for transmission on there. There's a couple different options you get when you do this scan. Observatory is one of them, but it's not the one we're looking at. And of course, now that I'm trying to record, there's gonna be, you know, stuff everywhere attacking. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Alright. Uh, a little combat, a little action, spice up the video. Hey, 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 you're rude. I don't believe I invited you to my video here. Hi. Anyway. Alright, so now that's done. Go back into your inventory. Go ahead and make another bypass chip. And we'll go ahead and scan for the exact same thing again. Transmission. So, so far what it comes up with is the observatory just popped up, beacons, which of course now it's going to pop up, how nice of it, and the one that we're looking for is trans or communication tower, or transmission tower, it, it'll pop up here. And a couple more chips hopefully, we'll go ahead and hack this again, and hopefully it'll be the last time. So make a video here game, work with me. Anyway, go ahead and search one more time. And another observatory. Figures. I'm just going to count on bad luck and make a few of these now. Go ahead and hack this and pop it up again. Derp. 
Go ahead, come on, just pull up the transmission tower thing. You can do it, game. Come on, love me. No, no. Third observatory. Oi. And here we got these guys again. Hi. Anyone else want some? Huh? Huh? Eh? Okay. And yeah, go ahead and do this again. <laughs> Ah, uh, don't you love frenzied sentinel planets? They're good times. Derp, 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 derp. Observatory? That's like, what, four observatories? Alright. Well, I am not giving up. I am going to make a few of these things, and I will go ahead and scan until I find what I'm looking for here, and uh, I'll bring you guys back then. Okay, transmission tower detected. That only took two different stops. Anyway, sorry for the cut there, guys. Uh, it doesn't usually take that long. Usually you get uh, you get one well within like three or four rolls. But, uh, oh well, bad luck. It's a bad planet to be just kicking it on. So, we'll just go ahead and zip over here. And I will go ahead and cut again until we get there and show you how to get through all that stuff. Alright, made it here. Flawless victory, yes. Alright, so, uh, also always make sure when you're doing this to hit the save thing on there. That way, next time you scan, you don't pop up with this, uh, same area. Stop it. Go away. Dumb signals. Oh, crap, there's another one. Yeah, sniped. I win. Go back in here now where it's, you know, a decent temperature. Alright, so, you're looking for this thing right here. Transmission tower thingamajigger. Always gives you some kind of code crap. It's pretty easily, typically. Let's see, uh, 14, oh, 3, minus 1, the... I don't know. It's going to be a maths one, so... Let's see if I can actually be prepared for once. I actually don't recognize this one. That's rare. That, like, never happens. But, um, usually it's just, uh, you know, it moves one number to the left as an example of a typical one. And, um, yeah, it's, it's weird. So let's go ahead and try and figure out what this whole uh, thing is, which requires math and head. Which, yeah, I'm not the best at when I'm on, you know, uh, a lot of hours without sleep. So it's times three minus one is the pattern for this one. So if you run into it yourself, you know how to do it. It's times three equals 366, so it's going to be 365. And if it turns blue, like it just did, woohoo, you win! Alright, so, you see the little bullseye symbol? That means it's a crashed ship. Hopefully it's a good one, because this has been more effort than I've had to put into a crashed ship in a long time. Eh, I figure, since I decided to actually record for it. Pretty normal, huh? Anyway, alright, so, let's see, where... It's uh, that way, and... It's not horribly far away, actually, comparatively speaking. Sometimes they pop up, like, on the entire other side of the planet. It's not that bad. Just pop out of the atmosphere if you have to and uh, do your, you know, super fast thing. And let's see. Oh, no. It's, yeah, let's see. How long is it going to take? You know, we'll go ahead and do that right now. Sorry to make you dizzy. Do is go ahead and pop into the atmosphere. Hey, it does try and like drag you back towards the planet, which is super annoying. Oh yeah, and then there's gonna be pirates out here. So this is the joys after your a uh, bazillion jumps into the whole um, thing. I should uh, remember that and. Uh, do videos earlier on in the whole thing. <laughs> Look how many times they missed me. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Spinny, spinny, spin. 
I could kill him, but it would take time, and I don't really want to spend time, so. We're just gonna make everybody watching super dizzy. And dive to the planet, because once you hit the atmosphere, they generally go away. Like I saw. Alright. In that case, I will just cut until I get there. Again. A lot of cuts in this episode. That doesn't usually happen. Alrighty. Finally made it there. I actually ended up just killing the pirates and doing the atmospheric jump. It was taking way too long. Alright. Coming to a lovely gentle landing, maybe? Landing? There we go. Rude. Man, Mr. Murphy is tagging along for this trip, ain't he? Alright. So, there it is over there. Way, way over here. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Okay, and... What are you? Creepy looking. That's what you are? Alright. So, once you finally made it here, ah, lucky, it's a ship. You go ahead and access it, and it is a 32 slot. Check to make sure it has the stuff you want on it. Like, that one's kind of a significant one, because it's a pain in the butt to make, and pain in the butt to fix, but, yep. And then you do just like you would if you're buying the ship. You go into compare, transfer whatever items you want over to it. And I, once you has done, you click accept, and uh, then it's just a matter of repairing the stuff just like you did at the beginning of the game. So it's not horribly too hard. One thing to remember, you only really have to fix these two, or uh, the launch thrusters and the pulse engines, and then you can get up and fly it and take it wherever you happen to need to go. And of course, if you don't know yet, Karite Sheets you just make in your inventory with E on PC. I don't know what it is on PS4, because, yeah, I'm not that cool. Anyway. And once it is all repaired up, you have yourself a brand new free-ish chip. And, uh, alright, yeah, so that's how to do it. Never once had a video have that much problems in it, but, um... <laughs> Yeah, about that. Give me a pity thumbs up for the pain in the butt this was. Anyway, uh, I wasn't joking about that, though. Thumbs up the video, give me a like. Really appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more things. I'm going to do a couple more videos on No Man's Sky. Then probably going to wrap it up with the um, review and summarize it. And then, yeah more stuff coming out with it. I've already got one video out on how to make money really fast if in you want to check that one out and uh, basic tips and tricks for the game and all that but you know stuff like uh, stuff like how to move around in the game and you know where to mine stuff and all that stuff. Uh, if you're wondering top slots I've seen on this has been like 30 I think but that's really slow to level up 48 slots is the max on your exosuit and 48 slots is I believe the max on the ship and yeah that is all of it thank you very much for watching guys sorry it was such a cluster with so many cuts and whatnot and take three of course because exhausted two planets before I decided to make this video because I is smart anyway that's Wolf Bruce. I'll be signing off here, guys.